You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And we have a different location here, you guys. So, um, this is the room where I usually am busy with writing and stuff like that. Um, the, the background that you usually see in these videos are in the living room with the, with the pretty mountain picture and everything. So, I decided to do it in here today. Um, but all that aside, I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, um, this one, um, is a Christian romance novel. Um, it was quite well written. Um, let me show you guys. I probably can't. It's called Smile for Me, an International Summer Love in the Bahamas, a Christian romance novel. And it is a Vacation Sweethearts book one. And this is a series that I want to go ahead and do. Um, here is what this is about. He, she is laid back. He is uptight. Never the twain shall kiss. A deadline-driven workaholic assistant principal who meticulously plans the schedule months in advance meets an easygoing art teacher and studio potter with no sense of time, living her life as the seasons come and go. When they cross paths again at the summer by the sea day camp sponsored by his church in Nassau, Bahamas, how can they get along if they cannot see eye to eye? From USA Today's best-selling author, Jan Thompson, comes Smile For Me, book one in the Vacation Sweethearts collection of wholesome, sweet, and inspirational Christian romance novels set in some of Jan's favorite vacation places around the world. A spin-off of Jan's Savannah Sweetheart series, these Vacation Sweetheart novels begin with a smile for me. Byron and Tina in their summer romance in the Bahamas. And this kind of explains um, that Tina is laid back. Um, she's a volunteer art teacher at a day camp. She has to answer to this guy Byron for a few weeks. And um, she's hoping that she can get through camp. Um, and the guy Byron, he is uptight. He schedules stuff months in advance and things like that. And it's, it's quite um, well written, like I said. It has um, a Kindle edition, you guys. And it has... 438 pages and I think it has like 40 it has 40 chapters you guys so this was a bit of a read for me um, it was delightful um, usually I think in my welcome video in my first video and other videos that I've done I have kind of written off romance because in a regular romance novel you get these short but very descriptive scenes of people when they make love or between the sheets or whatever phrase tickles your fancy um, about that. So um, when you have a Christian romance novel you don't have any of that. Um, this one um, had quite a few biblical references quoting scriptures and things like that and they did an exceptional job of weaving the biblical passages into conversations into the situation at hand and that was pretty cool um, I don't know what the uh, standard is for using text like that but the Bible is pretty old it's been around a long time and people have quoted it without problems either in conversation 
or things like that without any problems. I don't know if you would need to cite it. Maybe in a professional paper you would, but I'm not sure if you would put it into a story if you would have to do that. That would be something that I would have to look into. Um, but so it has 40 chapters and 439 pages. It was a bit of a read, but I got through it and that was, it was enjoyable because it alerted me to a lot of the biblical references that I didn't know were there. And for those that believe in Christ, this is a great read. And those who believe in the Bible, it's a great read as well. Um, but I do understand that some people don't believe in God. Some people are not sure that he exists or they don't, they're not religious at all. And that's okay. But for those of you that want a clean romance novel, this would be one that you would want to check out. Um, I recommend it very highly. I probably will look in my library and see if there are more of the series in the library that I can check out or if there's an ebook version of it that comes down in price or is fairly inexpensive I might do that so like I said this is the big um, I think it's the vacation vacation sweetheart series and there are a couple more series like the Savannah Sweetheart series and there's a Savannah Sweetheart Seaside Chapel um, that goes along with it that goes into the churchgoers there and in their lives and things like that so this was a pleasure to read and I have looked at Christian romance novels before and I think I've read maybe one or two um, that I've liked that I will do a review on um, so um, let's see so this does have a Kindle edition there's actually a paperback edition that you can get through Amazon um, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to where you can find it both in Kindle and paperback and I don't think there's a hardback I think it's just paperback but either way you can get the book. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can find it. I think that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow for another book review. Bye, guys.